Civil Society, CISLAC register LAM as Nigerian debt hits 87 trillion naira under President Tunubu. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our GC news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, CISLAC has accused the president, Bola Tunumbu led Nigerian government of non challenge towards the country's rising debt profile. The executive director of CISLAC, Awal Ibrahim Musa Rafsajani, in a statement on Saturday, expressed concerns over Nigerian startling 75% surge in debt now towering at a staggering 87 trillion naira saying the figure represents an increase of 75.29 or 37.53 trillion naira compared to 49.85 trillion naira recorded at the end of march 2023 he highlights the fiscal implications for the nation especially as a struggled to manage debt interest payments despite the expected monthly savings of approximately 400 naira billion 400 billion naira from first subsidy removal rafsajani said and i quote at a time when the international community is pushing for substantial debt relief initiatives and multilateral financial reforms the endurance deepening debt situation and physical recklessness are being called into question with nigeria grappling with both a significant revenue and debt crisis Pressure is mounting on the current administration to address these challenges without further exacerbating borrowings. He added, analysts call for efforts to reduce the cost of governance, broaden the tax net, drive compliance and plug leakages. Collaboration between the government and taxpayers is encouraged to boost tax revenue, ensuring a strong connection between access to public services and tax compliance. Policies promoting tax transparency should be swiftly implemented and partnership with taxpayers should be nurtured to ensure the direct utilization of taxes for infrastructure. Moreover, involving informal sector groups in tax compliance efforts and expanding the whistleblowing policy to gather intelligence for tax enforcement is deemed essential. Raf Sajani also emphasized the urgent need for the National Assembly to meticulously scrutinize loan requests ensuring compliance with the law and alignment with the interest of the, the Nigerian public. Now, I am asking the question. Something is wrong somewhere. I thought it has been flying around that this particular administration said they are not going to be borrowing. They want to reduce, if not cut or stop borrowing. So what is going on? Did you hear what they are saying? It is 7 trillion naira. The debt increased I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it is 75% increase. And I'm asking, how? Do you now see why we should be holding these people accountable if these people are not transparent? How did we get here? I keep asking myself, why is it that, you know, the debt is even increasing when we have actually scrapped subsidy? And just like the news says, subsidy alone was, was eating deep, as deep as 400 billion naira. Imagine you know, for subsidy, but we are no longer a subsidy. And the 400 billion naira is monthly. Monthly. So they are saving 400 billion. Then why is our debt, why is it rising? Something is wrong somewhere. How, where is this money from the miss? Suddenly it's now become under Tonobu. How much was it under Buhari? Let us be fair a little. No, 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 no. You see, eh? Why we are not going to? I am not going to say we are, we are going to shift the total blame. But this Buhari we are talking about was the government of APC, and Tunubu is the government of. So are they not the same people? Do you agree with me that, that they are the same people? So what is now the what's, what's now the essence? Tunubu was not part of the administration that borrowed. We only hope it clears all and makes Nigeria better again. Yes, everybody hopes that, you know, whoever sits down there clears it and make Nigeria better again. The man already told Nigeria that he will continue for where Buhari stopped. And he's doing exactly that. Mind you. Mind you. 
My own is, how did it get here? They said Buhari left it at how many million? But they said it have added more than 30 something uh, trillion. How? My own is, how? Share the money where they use for election, Abi Kilo Shelegogo, what exactly is the issue here? I'm interested, okay, all I'm interested is how much was the debt as of 29th May? Let me do the addition and subtraction. Ah, uh, okay, let me go back to the news. Just one minute so that I'll answer this person. As a 25th May, not as a match, calm down. As a match, eh, so I don't miss quotes. Let me go back to that particular uh, uh, news. As at March 2023, that was, um, at least we did the election February. They said that the express concern over Nigeria starting 75% surge in debt now towering at a staggering 87 trillion naira, saying the figure represents an increase of 75.29% or 37.53 trillion naira compared to compared to March. That is by March 2023, our debt was 49.85 49 trillion naira. What of today, it is now 87 trillion. So, what did they use that money do? Did they share it among themselves? Because I don't understand what is going on. Do you not understand? So, before we come and say, eh, okay, eh, it is true, Buhari borrowed. My own is waiting, then use the particular more over 30 something trillion naira. What did they use and do? Do you now understand and see reasons with me why we should be holding these people accountable? Why they should be transparent? And anybody we know they're transparent, we hold them accountable. <laughs> okay. So they have spent how many in just three months? We never even reach four months, so just three months. All I know is that Tinubu is the president of Nigeria. Come bring, come soon. Okay. Well. All right. The president is continuing from where Buhari stopped. He told Nigerians the, this during the campaign. So no one will blame him. He is doing really well. I told my grandmother about the story. She started shouting, you know, too boro boro, you know, too boro boro. Me, I can't make, I can't make sense of it. We are borrowing. And, at, and you cannot pay. The, 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 the most difficult thing is as they borrow, you can't pay. You can't point. Say, okay. This is a capital project. Had it been the construction of refineries going on, we well, say, okay, fine. There are construction of refineries going on. And okay, in the next six, nine months or one year, we'll have at least one or two working refinery, which will mean we'll stop exporting our fuel. We'll start doing what? Refining our fuel here, which will also bring a price reduction in the fuel pump price. But no. Hmm. This is admission that never starts. It's looking like corruption is written all over it. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.